Oh, look at how cool. You've arrived at last. Ah. The hero who prevented me from being bound returns to my fold. Wait, of course, yeah! I have much to thank you for, little one. When you die, I will raise you, and you can take your place by my side. You'll serve me soon enough. Yeah, of course she- well, okay, I guess I'm not sure how to read into how she said that, right? She was either being sarcastic and like, I don't know, snooty towards us and being like, oh yeah, my hero, and acknowledging the fact that like, we didn't intend to do that, or she thinks that we really were there to help her. Which is amazing because she picked up on that, but not anyone at the Blue Palace, right? They couldn't see a suspicious character a mile away. <laughs> we have every, we have no fucking alibi. <laughs> it's no wonder High King Tor got killed. <laughs> When we had last left the last Dragonborn, they were hoping for a special missive from a courier to follow up on the Potama Super Mystery 500. Where did the strange apparition go? Who really knew? But hopefully they would find out soon because they did get that letter. But um, in the meantime, they also fucked off all the way up to Solstheim said goodbye to Jizargo, got Rallis, and then told him to leave too, because that was no good, and instead got the illustrious Aladizia Venedici, something like that, <laughs> to help out at Gold Hills or Golden Hill something plantation, where they were growing leeks. Whoa. <laughs> now, however... It was perhaps time to follow up on that amazing missive. This is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. Shoop. There we go. Let us head on out. Let us go over first to, I think, maybe we gotta get somebody else as a follower before we get in too deep with all this, right? Oh shit, where did she even go to? Oh, she was standing out here a moment ago. You know, we've just kind of gotten used to dragons. You know, sort of just flopping around the distance. I've just, I've gotten used to it. This, <laughs> this is just normal now, <laughs> right? Look, it used to be a weird and wild thing, but shit. Now it, it, this is just a reality. Fucking happens all the time in 76 with the Scorch Beasts. Lord knows. All right, maybe she's inside? Let's see here. Oh, gentle viewers also, Milfsword and Bianca both wrote in to varying effect that we actually have a note or something like that. Let's see. That will tell us where these horses are for when we want to do that. Let's see. Yeah, map of wild horses. Ah, here we go. Oh. Okay. So there's just a straight up map. Although it doesn't really tell us which ones are where. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, here we go. Notes. Yeah, okay. So the only one that we've gotten, I think, is Spotted Gray? Is that it? I think so. Okay. But we can use that in conjunction with the map. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Fair enough. Wow, what horse is hanging out over here in, like, the swamp area? Some kind of a weird swamp horse? Huh. And over here, it's gotta be, like, a chili horse, right? It's very cold over that way. Like, down, down this way, these four make sense to me. That's like a horse climate. Even over here, like a mountain horse or something. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know. Does that make sense? Are mountain horses like a reality, or am I just thinking of, like, goats and rams? I have no idea. All right. Yeah, I don't know where Vidanichi went to. Huh. Go make another offering. Why not? Yeah, what the heck? Because we haven't yet built the... Like, farmhand house, have we? Because that would be my first guess as to where she goes to. But we haven't... Ooh, 
We, we haven't built that yet. Huh. Oh, that's worrying. Where does she go? Hang on. Into the, like, mill over here? No. Yeah, we went inside of there. Over to the stables, maybe? Oh, yeah, there she is. I think that's her. Yeah. What are you doing over here? Are you looking at a log? Glad Orthus was able to find someone competent. Yeah, I'm so that. glad about that, too. Okay. Well. <laughs> All right. Let's go fuck off and get somebody else. Because we need a follower for damn sure. Before we get too wrapped up in some other intrigue. So let's actually... Well, fuck. All right. Let's get Call Dragon at the ready and we'll head on over to Markarth. Because I was looking at a list of followers and of course I skipped over some other ones like I didn't even look at the list for fucking Dark Brotherhood or Dawn Guard because I don't want to like go all the way into those arcs just yet. Just explicitly for the purposes of getting a, another follower right now. Right? Whatever happens, happens when we get to that. There we go. Good. And then bend will. Great. There you are. Okay. But I was looking through this wonderful list courtesy of the fine folks at UESP.net as per There we go. And I saw someone who sleeps and awakes at about 8 a.m. And then for like 12 to 16 hours, I forget exactly, all that they do for the rest of the day, they get fucking wasted at the local inn. <laughs> I was like, you know what? It's not that extravagant, but it's close enough. <laughs> that's that's good enough for me. <laughs> and after that, they just go back to sleep. And every day, without fail, apparently, they do the same thing every single day. They just get drunk every day. <laughs> they spend their whole day drinking, and then when they're done, they go to sleep, and they wake up, and they drink again. Seems, seems fucking great. Oh, jeez. Odeving. Okay, Odeving. Chill. As you command, Where are you gonna put us down? Oh my god. Okay. As you command. Belay that order. Just go to the farm. Maybe that's better. <laughs> right? I will look for okay. a spot to Perfect. land. Yeah, maybe the stables was a bad idea because it's so close to the ridge there. Maybe the farm is more ideal. I mean, sure, we're gonna, we might be put down right into freezing cold water, but that's okay. Oh, thank goodness it's not that deep. Oh, it is a little deep. Okay. Okay. I don't think the water is freezing cold, though. We didn't hear the little, like, you know, the sound of cold water. <laughs> Weirdly, it sounds a lot like hot water, right? <laughs> that's just how it is, you know? Something, you know how people will say like, Oh, it's so cold, it burned me. That's just, it's the same thing, right? You get the water so cold, it doesn't freeze. This is beyond freezing. You get, like, you take frozen water. Some people call this ice. <laughs> and you get even colder, and it starts to boil. Because it's so cold, it's like hot. That's all you need, Dragonborn. Just say the word. All right, where is this My dude at? Drinking, buddy. It's Let's not Degain. It's not Degain. But in. it is. The has plenty of oh, is this the guy? Clean rooms. It's There's Cosmic. No shipments coming in, so I do nothing. Just drink. All right, I got something for you to do, though. You a fighting man? Oh, How shit. About a little bet? I still have to do this? I never talked to this person. So where do you work? Arnleaf and Sons Trading Company. I'm a porter. Just some muscle hired to move heavy packages. But we don't get any shipments in. Forsworn attack every caravan. So all I do is sit here and drink. Okay. You say something about a bet? I'm drunk, and it's been a while since I had a good fight. A hundred septums says I can take you. Barehanded. Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Let's go. Oh fuck! Drive All right. Snowbank. Let's see. Immediately, we're met with <laughs> all the wild ass racist Someone remarks. Okay. Huh? Good. Let's fight over by the fire. That way, my health comes back a bit. There we go. Okay. Obviously, this is. <laughs> 
<laughs> take a fucking bait. <laughs> All right. Didn't we pick up like an unarmed item or whatever to help us with this a bit? No? I could have sworn I had one at some point. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. You know, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, dear Lord. No, okay. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Shit. Well, look, we're just going to have to get through it just like before. Just like all the other times. <gasps> there we go. We'll just punch him. Look, our health is coming back and regenerating and everything. It's good. It's all right. Too bad we can't just, like, while he's fighting us, just run over to, you know, like a smithing area and smith up some shit <laughs> to fight him better. Or go over to an enchanting table and just toss a weak enchant on one of our rings and some shit. Just to punch him a little bit better in combat. <laughs> I feel like that would be a good move. There we go. Yeah, I feel like it's still more DPS to just, like, do, uh, rapid, speedy punches and all of that. But yeah, Koznak! You know, he's got these two little, like, strips of tattoo or paint or something right under his eyeballs. And, you know, given the fact that he's in Markarth, part of me was wondering, like, is this guy a Forsworn member? But I don't think he is. I think he just has it on there for fun or whatever, right? I think he's just got the paint on there for fun. If it's not actually like Forsworn tats or whatever, right? Which I guess makes sense. You know, the Forsworn tats are usually a bit more elaborate and all of that, right? Usually a bit more like grayed out and cover more of the face, I think. I think. I'm not sure. But my hope is as well, is that he keeps this voice when he's in our party, when he's our follower, right? That he keeps his, like, drunk voice. I don't want, like, an oblivion situation, you know? Something I said? With the beggars and all that. I'll raise a cup to your grave. Which I guess he doesn't necessarily have a drunk guy voice. Like, he's not like uh, the game up front, who definitely has, like, a super drunk guy voice. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, chill. Okay. There we go. Good. <laughs> he doesn't mind us doing that either. It's all good. Okay. There we are. Good. My gosh. How many more fist fights do we have in this game to do? I can't believe he never, like, approached us and was like, uh, too pathetic to fight your own battles or something like that. I don't think he ever did. Take it easy. Who the hell is Umlaug? <laughs> She's a Pete. All right. Yeah, we're slowly getting, slowly but surely, Koznak is fading, and hopefully we don't have to get him all the way to nothing. But hey, if if that's the case, so be it. You know what? Maybe after this, we really should go and like enchant some unarmed fighting stuff next time we get a, a good opportunity. I think we have on us a few like soul gems, like a few grand soul gems there. I don't know what we would have killed, probably some fucking mammoth or giant out there, some peaceful grazing creature. We slew it mercilessly. Now we can turn it into a ring or some shit that will let me punch better. Right? I don't even think we need the special punching gauntlets, right? Didn't we come to that sort of realization that, in truth, you don't need the punching gauntlets. It's the enchant that deals the extra damage. Remember, right? hit the one in the middle. Hit the one in the middle? What? What What do you have in the middle? Oh, shit! This is also amazing for our light armor! Oh, my gosh! Hang on. Let me put on my special hat. There we go. Now we're gonna level it even faster. Good stuff. Holy shit, what a great idea. I still don't remember if it's like damage based or what. But either way, this is amazing XP. Let's also heal ourselves up. There we go. What happens if you ever lose one of these, right? I can't even remember. Do you die? Do they just kill you? I'm pretty sure it happened to us at the very beginning of the playthrough, right? 
when we were fighting um, Mikael or whatever in Whiterun. Pretty sure we got taken out during one of these brawls. There we go. I hope they don't get rid of brawling in Elder Scrolls 6 just because this kind of like ages poorly as your character levels up. <laughs> Right? I hope they don't get rid of them, because it is a great idea and all that, you know? It's just kind of, you know, it wasn't thought out too much beyond early levels. Or lower difficulties, I suppose. There we go. Especially if they end up adding in more moves for you to pull off. It kind of reminds me of, um, Fable 1. I don't know if it's in, like, Fable 2 or 3. I have limited experience with them, especially three. But in Fable 1, there was like a whole hand-to-hand -hand fighting club or whatever. And some people would like challenge you to it and like... There was like a whole weird side quest arc in that game about just doing like fist fighting. There we go. Alright. Um, I think we do actually have to deplete him. Alright, if anything... It's kind of intense on your, your clicking finger or your trigger pulling finger if you're on console or just using a gamepad. Right, some folks prefer gamepad, and especially in a single player game, right? There's no, like, big detriment to it. Oops, sorry. <laughs> hey! Wait, I can still fight. No, no I can't. <laughs> you lost, give me my money. Fair fight. Here you are. I'm what you call a Now you have to do whatever I tell you to, right, Koznak? There's no shipments coming in, so I do nothing. He doesn't even acknowledge it. He won't even look at me straight in the face now. He's so ashamed. <laughs> Follow me, I need your help. Let's not waste any time. Can't be too careful these days, with the war and other dangers. Okay. For a fair price, I'll watch your back. Oh, I was in third person, that's why. Because when I was clicking, I went into third-person mode. Holy shit, that's why he wasn't looking at me. <laughs> okay. Who if are you, Vorstog? Some call me a mercenary. Oh, you're a hireling. But I like to think of myself as a freelance adventurer for hire. Wow. Watch your back, friend. Now and he's yes, got a force word tat, it, it looks like. Okay. I'm what you'd call a soldier of fortune. Good. Make me an offer, and I just might fight at your side. It's okay, Vorstag. I've got the ultimate soldier of fortune, Koznak. Okay. Let's also re-equip our hat for additional armor. This Good. is the silver. I would like to have a room. I'll let you figure out who Or should we get a room yet? Hmm. You know what? Let's go Remember, ale is cheaper than blood in Let's go up north to if we get a room, we'll we'll sleep at Solitude, I think. I think that's a good move. But I like how Koznak doesn't even like lampshade the <laughs> the idea of of him like I don't know becoming my butler now. <laughs> like he doesn't he doesn't even say why why like after I beat him in a fight now he's willing to do this. It's <laughs> is it just expected like I beat him up ergo I should be able to have him as a butler? <laughs> the fuck. All right, let's see in here if I still have... I, I can't remember where I put it. It might it may be a Riften, now that I think of it, but... What do you I'm need, my searching friend? for my pants. You know what I'm talking about? My shirtless man equipment. I don't remember where I put that shirtless man pair of pants at. You know the one. The one where you wear the pants and it takes off all your shirt. I feel like Koznak is kind of perfect for becoming, like, the ultimate shirtless man. So I would like to get that for him specifically. And that can be his sort of fun little... Like... <laughs> his own, like, like wrestler gimmick. <laughs> right? Everybody's had one. Everybody's had a little weird thing that they do. Everyone's been some kind of weird little idiot. <laughs> this can be Koznak's, you know? This can be his. Let's see, maybe if we go down to the Warrens, we can, like, grab another bunch. Actually, Kosnak, what do you even have on you? Do you have a key? I think, I'm pretty sure I'm I remember reading that he, like, sleeps at the Warrens, but I might be mistaken with take? someone else. Kosnak's room. Okay. Take that. I'll drink that. I'll take your tunic. 
good. Okay. Lead on then. Let's see. Let's head on over to the Warrens. Like I said, we'll we'll take a peek around and see if we can get anything. If not, where would the best place be? I guess the 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 ma the mine jail. Would that be the the next best solution? Can we even access the mine jail again? I don't know. All this just to give uh, Koznak that sweet fashion, you know. Let's see. There's the gains room. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have any luck, huh? Oh hey, Dryston. Hey now, you be careful with that fire. Oh, sorry. Okay. What's the hurry? Hell yeah, he still sounds like that. I don't know if that's like completely drunk voice though. You know, I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. Yeah, I don't. don't I don't know if there's actually any down no in here. Okay, let's find out how to get back to the mine. How do you get to it normally? Yeah, because when you get arrested and all of that, you fade to black. Wait, how do you get to the mines normally? The Sydna mine. What the hell? Yeah, how do you how do you normally access that without being arrested? Markarth ruins? Maybe that's it? What the hell? Yeah, it just occurred to me. Oh, is this it? Oh, here we go. Okay. Sitting in mine. Well, for it being such a big gaping hole, I'm surprised we never actually went in here before normal. Oh. Who the heck is this? Silver Blood Guard. I'll catch you stealing anything, I'll break your neck. Okay. You mess with the Silver Blood family, you end up here. Yeah, I know. I, I was in here not too long ago. Do you remember me? I broke out. <laughs> me, me and like 50 million other people. <laughs> that was us. I catch you stealing anything, I'll break your neck. Okay. I'm just looking for some fashionable equipment for my friend here who wants to like live life as a I'm shirtless man, free and wild. Here. Oh wait, you have a name. Oh, you're the jailer from before, right? No funny business. I'm okay. watching you. All right. Now this is real I'll check it. Duty. Just throw them in the mine and be done with it. Uh, you, you can only the get in there family, by way of this. But we can't activate it. Oh shit. What the fuck? Is you there actually the no other way family, to do it then? You end up here. Yeah, maybe in here. Oh, okay. Let's pop this. There we go. We're breaking in here just to get some, like, pants. <laughs> okay. Cool. Money. Always nice. Okay. A sack filled with tomato. I'll eat it. Carrots. I'll eat them. Money. I'll take it. An apothecary's satchel. I'll take all these. Why not? Okay. We'll leave those. Okay. Evidence chest. Pers prisoner belongings chest. Oh, that's where you would go if you were arrested like normal. Maybe. Yeah, what, what even happens if you're arrested like normal? Keep your hands to yourself. Huh? Okay. Kosnik. Ugh. Hey, watch it. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. I'm looking for pants. <laughs> okay. Yo, I don't think there's any down here that we can access at least. What the fuck? How is someone supposed to get these pants? <laughs> Jeez, how do you get back inside of this fucking prison? Am I gonna have to get arrested just to get some stupid ass pants? Where did I even put the last pants that I took? Hendraheim or something? I'd believe it. That sounds believable to me. Okay, how did we come out of here? Can we reverse access Markarth Ruins? Are we able to do this? Or is it going to be locked from out here? Oh, it looks like we can do it. We should be able to just run right through, right? Well, I mean, is there even going to be anybody inside of the... <laughs> of the Sydney <laughs> Mine anymore? 
What's it even look like in there after we've done the quest? Like, who is be dumb enough to go back into this place after you do the quest? <laughs> like, what a value is in there? <laughs> oh, shit. The robots are stirring. Is this the same one that we left from before, you think? That we, like, ran away from? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it's, its health is even still low. Did you see that? It, that was either from Koznak or... It kept its health low. That's wild. I don't think it was Kosnak, because I didn't hear, like, any, like, of him exerting. Unless he, like, silently just swung his mace. Which I guess is possible. Okay. Over here. Good. And then... Right, the spiders are back now, too. Which we had definitely killed the spiders way back when. These are respawns. Notice how they're kind of blue, though. How fun is that? Alright. Over here. You know, the giant spiders here in Skyrim, for whatever reason, they don't really scare me. But, I will say, I tried a bit of grounded. Obsidian's grounded. You know, they're like peculiar, like, survival spinoff where you're, like, a kid in the 80s or whatever in your backyard shrunken or whatever. The fucking spiders in that are fucking terrifying. Which, granted, they're a lot bigger, but a lot of the bugs in that really scare me. I don't know. Something about, like, how they move and all. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's exactly it. It's the movement animation, right? Because maybe, maybe the movement of the spiders in Skyrim just isn't quite creepy enough, but in that Oh, you gotta be shitting me! Am I willing to cheat my way in there just to get some fucking pants? Hell yes, I am! Okay. Y'all just wait there. Just hang on. I'm just going in here for only pants. There's gotta be some, right? Shit, that's empty. I think it might only be on people. <laughs> I don't know if there's actually any pants in here like normal. Yeah, there's not even anybody in the entire place. <laughs> huh. Was there somewhere that like there was a stack of clothing or some shit like that? Dude, I don't think so. What did they even do with all their old clothes? Maybe I wanted it. They didn't ask. How callous these Forsworn. <laughs> King in rags, huh? Maybe I wanted some of those rags. You don't know. You didn't ask. You didn't bother to ask me. Let's see. Over here. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is a fucking hell. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, what the hell do we do now? I, I, where did I put those pants at? <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, okay. Good. Alright. Now, are you still following me, or is this bucket, like, making you go weird mode? We've stopped. What is it? Yeah, I'm looking for we pants don't. for you, dude. I don't remember where I put them. It was either Hendraheim or Riften, right? Because those are the two main ones that we've been using lately. Okay, fine. You know what? Should we go check Riften real quick? <laughs> Should we go check it real quick just for the pants? Look, I Patema's calling. But you know what's calling a little bit louder? These pants. <laughs> All right, let's go on out. Or maybe it's Hendraheim. I can't fucking remember where I put the pants. It may be Hendraheim. I don't I'm not carrying them, am I? That would be wild. <laughs> that would be so fucking funny if I was actually just carrying them with me the whole time. Okay, thank God. <laughs> you know, it's totally possible. When I said that, how, <laughs> how many folks were like, fuck, I bet he is. <laughs> Look, weirder shit has happened. It's believable. <laughs> it, could, it could be the case. All right. Let's head on out of here. Good. <laughs> Let's head on- oh, shit. 
Look at this. Another one. Another Sphere Master. There we go. Eat a butt. Take your oil. Okay. Nah! Oh shit. We'll go this way. Let's also get some healing rolling. There we go. All this just to perfect Koznak's shirtless man aesthetic, right? You know, part of me is really thinking that it's that it's in Riften, right? Maybe we check Riften God first. Nervous. A man approaches with his weapons wrong. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Let's head on over this way. Good. You know, I really thought that I had left it back at Vlindral, to be honest. Since we would have just picked it up right then, dude. Oh my god! What the hell happened? Oh my god! <laughs> this isn't normal prior Mabel, though, that we buy here. This is from... Is this from the fucking Golden Hills Plantation? Oh my god. Did Aladisia Vidanichi get really angry because I left without fully upgrading everything? She killed my horse and then mailed it to Markarth? What an absolute freak! Because this is the same color of that horse, right? It's not the, the paint horse that we usually have. Well, gotta take all the meat and leather, I guess. What can you do? I know, Koznak, it's really sad. I, di I didn't know this horse, by the way. Yeah, it's true. I, I didn't know it. <laughs> it just it just ended up there. It definitely wasn't some sort of weird vengeance vendetta from City of Markarth, someone else. Sure is a beauty. Okay, okay, I'd like to hire you your carriage. Go? Let's go to Riften. Because we'll be getting to Riften oh, is a little less time-consuming than getting to Hendraheim, right? Because by way of getting to Hendraheim, we would have to call for Dragon... Odoving or happen upon some weirdo and then fly over there. Right. At least in doing this, we can really rapidly check. And we can rest here too. Okay. Good, good, good. Head on over there. Maybe we put it up in solitude? That can't be, though. That cannot be in solitude. Who's going to put pants in the solitude house, right? What kind of strange asshole would do that? Not me. Okay. Let's head on over here. Jeez, we're getting so sleepy. I think we should sleep here at Riften. Whether or not the pants are in, you know? These pants are rarer than you would think. I can't even imagine all the other pants that we have. Like, what other times have we seen just the pants? I can't even think of it. Okay. Let's see. Fuck, I can't see. Okay. Are there pants in here? There is some really nice armor. But I'm not giving it to this guy. Kosnak, you have to become the ultimate shirtless man. Look, you were destined for it. Shit. Okay. <laughs> It's definitely not in here. It is definitely not in here. Okay, it's gotta be Hendraheim then. It's gotta be. Okay. Let's head on over to our bedroom. We'll rest real quick. Okay. Good. Lovely. Okay. Now, let's head on back out. Let's get one of those. Why not? Rub the statue of Akatosh for good luck. Head on back out. Take a dip into the poo water. Boom. Okay. Now, do you think we'll encounter a dragon out here? That would be pretty good. For our purposes, at least. Our stupid-ass purposes. <laughs> I don't think that's the case. Maybe we just go off to Solitude then, right? If there's no dragon on our way over, we just go to Solitude. Right? Let's... <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's just do it. Hey, who the hell is this? Hey, Valandor? <laughs> you going for a swim? <laughs> Why are you out here? Okay, you looking for pants too? Alright, yeah, you know, they're pretty rare. Good luck finding them. <laughs> okay, okay. Look, if we can't ever find these pants, I'll fucking dupe them. I'll fucking dupe them. I'm not afraid to. I know I have the pants. I've obtained the pants somewhere. I deserve them, right? This is just like... <laughs> these are the things that you tell yourself whenever you try to emulate a Nintendo game. <laughs> I can take you to any right. old capitals. Let's see. I'd like to go to Where Solitude. To go? There we go. Climb and back and we'll be off. Right. Oh, steady. Good. Yeah, amazingly, no dragon attack. <clears throat> I thought it would have been time. But huh? what can you do? All right. Oh, lovely. Wow, look at this. What a bright looking night, huh? Hey, maybe we should check in with the Khajiiti Caravan. Maybe they've got some. Some cool pants or whatever. Right? I believe that. The warm sand of elsewhere is fine. Hey, we're drunk. Take a look. What you got? You got any cool pants? I don't think so. Is scaled horn armor more shirtless man armor than what he's currently wearing? Or is he literally wearing that right now? Hmm. I don't even know. Okay, well. Let's also sell off some trash here. There we are. Lovely. May your road lead you to Okay, dude. Yeah, I don't think Let's get going. I think you're just wearing like hide armor or whatever. What do you right? need to take? Duels wear See. All for sale at fair prices. Oh no, that gives you too much clothing. Okay. I'm taking it back. There we are. Lead on then. Yeah, it's it's even more cloth up top than before. Alright. Let's head on out. Woo! There we are. And then should we head directly into the blue palace or should we wait a bit for people to wake up? I think we just roll up into the blue palace, right? Yeah, at about midnight. That's fine. There's no problem doing that. There we are. I'm not even sure what the pants armor is called. It might just be called like ragged trousers or something like that, you know? Worn pants. Travel stained pants, if only. Okay. Let's go on up this way. Good. God, I hope they put the travel stained pants into Skywind. <laughs> and they give like a little mark where your butt crack is. Give them some skid marks. That's the dream. That's what I want. <laughs> put like a little monogram on it too. <laughs> okay, let's go on up here and yeah, everyone's asleep. Okay, well, let's track it down. Who do we need to see? Oh, shit. Oh, I still need to read the letter, don't I? I never actually, <laughs> I never actually read it. Okay, yeah, there we go. Letter from Falk Firebeard. Okay. Lyle Schnub, over the last few days, we've had some disturbing information come to light regarding the events at Wolf Skull Cave and the summoning and binding ritual you interrupted there. Given your involvement with that event, I'm asking you to return to Solitude to help us once more. I'm wary of putting all the details in print. Please, come see me at the Blue Palace. Sincerely, Falk Firebeard. Okay. Well, we did not get a quest for that, but now it is red. Yeah, let's go hit up, um... I don't know. What, what's your house called in this place? <laughs> I don't even know what it's called. Something manor, like Proud View, Proud Home Manor. Proud... some kind of Proud Manor. Is this it? The one with the steeple? No, this is... Is it? This is the Bard's College, ain't it? Yeah. Ours is right over here, is it? Or... Yeah, Proud Spire. 
Okay. Very good. You don't think we put it down here, did we? No, that would have been too fucking lucky. Man, I want those pants. Okay. Let's head on up. It's all I'm gonna be able to think about <laughs> for, for the rest of this video. Until we get them, I'm just gonna be thinking about those fucking pants. There we are. Great. Cool. And then... Let's head on down here. Good. Alright. Now, let's go on over to chat with Firebeard, right? Chow down a little snack on our way. Oh, look, he may actually... Yeah, I think that's him right there. Oh, here, let's change the weather real quick, too. It's a little chilly with the rain. No! There we go. Hey, Falk Firebeard. The courier must have found you. Yeah! You sent me a message about Wolf Skull Cave? Yes, old friend. Old I'm friend. I'm afraid it's not good news. When you broke up the binding, Hotema escaped. We've encountered some of her minions. Steer says she's still in spirit form. Or we'd all be dead already. You've already done us a service in stopping the binding. But I need you to go talk to him. To see if Steer can tell us what to do next. He's putting a lot of faith in us, especially when he doesn't know that we're the Dragonborn, right? If this happened, I would immediately assume that the person that I hired is actually a secret necromancer, right? I either... you didn't actually put a stop to the necromancers there, because how the fuck would he know, right? As far as we know, they accomplished what they wanted. He didn't know their ultimate goals were to, like, harness her power for her own, for all he knew. They were trying to free her, which is what happened. Or, I'm a necromancer with my own agenda. How do you know that? Whose side I'm on? I could very easily... Like, there's a lot of things implicating me right now in being some kind of weird Potemo-worshipping fool or some shit, right? Who is Steer? Why me? I'll talk to Steer. We'll figure something out. Why me? I'm not really sure. Steer thinks you have some sort of link to Potema. Really? I trust his judgment on this. As a priest of Arche, he's had to deal with necromancy before. Nothing as dangerous as Potema, though. All right, I'll talk to Steer. We'll figure something out. Well, no, wait, hang on. Who is Steer? He's Solitude's priest of Arche. He's the one who figured out Potema was still around. He'll help as much as he can. Okay, I'll talk to him. I wish you well, friend. Be careful. I go. Oh. Glad we straightened that out. <laughs> okay, great. All right. Fantastic. Let's track this. Potema has been summoned from beyond the grave and is gathering power. Falk has sent me to steer to get the key to Potema's catacombs. Okay. Sure. <laughs> It's so wild that they would trust me. Like, I feel like the other way for this to go down is for them to not send a courier, but like a regiment of guards being like, Whoa, we think that you, you're you actually a piece of shit. Did we just hire a piece of shit accidentally? And you're freeing Potema? And then you're like, oh no, I'm not actually a piece of shit. They're like, well, you better prove you're not a piece of shit by stopping Potema. You're like, okay, I'll go do it. <laughs> I'm not a piece of shit, promise. <laughs> All right, let's go on in here. Hall of the Dead. Great. You lost? No, I'm here for you, Steer. You must be the one Falk spoke so highly of. Yeah, see, well, I'm not lost at all. Falk sent me to talk to you about Potema. Ah, Potema. Potema. Former queen of solitude and one of the most dangerous necromancers in recorded history. Really? She was responsible for the Empire's near collapse almost 500 years ago. I believe I have a book about her. Yeah, who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Steer. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> and this is very important, very dangerous stuff. And now the Potema has returned? Summoned in spirit form is not raised from the dead. She'll need help before she can return to the living. For the moment, the Wolf Queen has retreated to a place filled with dead, eager to serve her. She has gone to her old catacombs. I mean, that could have just as well been ago, anywhere. <laughs> one of her servants busted through a wall into the Temple of Divines. 
We'll need you to go into the catacombs themselves. Wait, you want me to go do this alone? Yes. I had Falk call you back because you were at the summoning. You have a connection to Potema now. You must deal with her. I can provide you with help for her minions, though. This should help you deal with the catacombs themselves. As to Potema herself, find what's left of her body, likely a skeleton. Remove it from the catacombs and bring it back to be sanctified by R.K. Okay. Uh, what do I need to know about Potema? A curious figure. Unrepentantly evil and nasty, of course, but also astonishingly brilliant, and obviously quite a necromancer at her end. She was always so close to being Empress, but despite her machinations, it was never to be hers. Ironically, if she were alive today, she'd be the only living member of the Septim bloodline. By all rights, she would now be Empress. Right. Okay. May Arke bless you with a long life. I mean, you could, like, yeah, if she were alive today, you could say that about fucking any of them. <laughs> I mean, if you put it like that, yeah, Martin Septim. If he were alive today, he'd be, <laughs> right? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, sure. It's not like she was the last one who was alive, right? It's not like she, she was about to outlive all of the others. She just happened to die along the way, right? There were other septums of that bloodline and all that shit who outlived Potema. <laughs> what a weird thing to say, <laughs> right? Am I misunderstanding it? I'm pretty sure that's right, you know? It's just... <laughs> okay, okay. Let's, let's, let's head on over to where it is. All right. Where the hell even is it? Oh, it's inside a solitude? Oh, the Temple of the Divines. Oh, shit. Okay. Man, I've clearly forgotten what the hell's going on with this part of the quest. <laughs> I thought it was another cave round the middle of fucking nowhere, remember? Like, when we were going past a few places, it was like, oh, maybe this is a place for the follow-up quest and all that. It's right up in here, huh? Get the fuck out. This is it? Is this- is this shit bugged right now? Is- For real? This is it? Blessings hey, Cosnick. Of the divines upon you. How may I help? Hey. You look troubled. Have you come seeking guidance? No, I'm seeking Potema. Hey, divines what about you? bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Being old's not so bad. Daughter keeps me fed. And my working days are done. Okay. Let's see. Down here? Nope. Oh dear. Over here. Be free to take a seat or to pray at the shrines. How the we fuck do I get to your catacombs? All its forms. Um, don't suppose you'd want to take that fire somewhere else? You know, somewhere away from me? <laughs> take it easy, man. Okay. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. <laughs> okay. Shit, do we have to go up to get down? Is that what's up? Oh, here we go. Okay. Good. And then through here. No. Okay. Through here? Ah, okay. Now we're in the secret zone. Alright. Shut the door behind us there. They're not gonna know I'm taking their shit, huh? Okay. Remind us of our place when we forget Okay. Oh look, there's a big hole blasted through it. I'm surprised we haven't already gotten, like, some kind of telepathic communication from Potema. You know? Just blasting directly into our ear holes. Okay. Holy shit. All this is down here? This was through the wall? Keep in mind that it was walled up and everything. Oh, that's cool, then. They've got, like, a weird secret chamber. Alright. Ooh, this is spooky. What the hell? I don't remember this. Did I not ever do this part? No, I must have. Okay. Oh, look at how cool. You've arrived at ah. the hero who prevented me from being bound returns to my fold. Wait, I of have course, yeah! To thank you for, little one. When you die, I will raise you, and you can take your place by my side. You'll serve me soon enough. 
Yeah, of course she- well, okay, I guess I'm not sure how to read into how she said that, right? She was either being sarcastic and like, I don't know, snooty towards us and being like, Oh yeah, my hero. And acknowledging the fact that like, we didn't intend to do that. Or she thinks that we really were there to help her, right? Which is amazing because she picked up on that, but not anyone at the Blue Palace, right? They couldn't see a suspicious character a mile away. <laughs> we have every- we have no fucking alibi. <laughs> it's no wonder High King Tor got killed. <laughs> we have every reason to have possibly been wanting to resurrect Patema and like destroy Solitude. Maybe we're an agent of the Thalmor. Maybe we're a fucking Stormcloak spy or some shit that wants to see the downfall of the whole city. <laughs> they don't know. Good lord. All right. I, I, but I'm not sure if Patema was speaking like in earnest or not. Okay. Let's take a look here. Is this her bust? Yeah. Okay. Sure. She's like smiling at you and everything. Looks kind of cool. All right. Ooh. Oh no, is this her pee or something? <laughs> what is all this? Why is there just water here? <laughs> it's just a fun little puddle. <laughs> okay. She is the wolf queen, right? <laughs> Come on, Patema, this ain't a fire hydrant. <laughs> go to the door when you need to go out. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, no! Hulking Draugr! Okay. There we go. Good. Good, good, good. It's gonna be so embarrassing when we get up to her. Right? She'll be like, wait, I thought you were on my side. You mean all that? Oh, you freed me on accident? You must be the dumbest man alive! <laughs> uh, you got me. <laughs> okay. Oh, look. Where'd the rest of them go? Oh. Someone here had two heads, though. There's a nice little bar area and everything. Wow, neat. Okay. Let's heal up again. Hello? Who's there? Whoa, vampires? Okay. Oh shit. My magic went through the wall. Oh, let's run your ass down. Oh shit, I really did. Okay. Cool. Oh, let's blast them all. Sorry, Koznak. Had to be done. Okay. Let's get the vamp. Good. What does that mean? Hit the one in the middle. Oh, because he's drunk! That's because he's seeing multiple versions of him because he's so fucking blasted. That's why he says it. He's saying it for himself because he can't see straight. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Oh, Old Solitude Crypt's Key. Neat. Draugr Scourge. Okay, Ash Pile. Cool. Yeah, because he's using Drunk Voice. He is using Drunk Voice. Ah, okay. Let's eat on cabbages here. Apples as well. Ooh, take a whole bunch of salt. Wonderful. Oh, nothing in there. This one has something. Tomatoes. Munch on them. What about back here? Apples. Cabbages. And nothing in that one. Okay. Oh, look. Oh, shit. Awesome. Oh, look, and it made the... filter or whatever fly down, too. Okay. You would think that the wooden tables and chairs here would also go up in flames, but uh, in Skyrim, everyone knows they treat it with a special like resin from trees and all of that. <laughs> not the kind, not the kind of resin that makes things ignite faster, but it's magic 
resin, you know, like the Gilder Green or whatever gives it off. And it makes it all resistant to fire. <laughs> that's, that's why it's cannon. There we go. Anything over here? Good. Alright. Surefit of thieves. Whoops. Barrel filled with apples. I'll munch on them. Potatoes. Perfect for munching. Oh, we are now well fed. Wonderful. Okay. More barrels over here. Any salt? Nope. Just food. We can over munch a bit. Keep us going for a while. Oh, there is another barrel in there. Sack of flour. Part of a balanced diet. Four sacks of raw flour. Okay. Oh, what is this? Someone's bone. Okay. Here we go. Did we get contracted with Sanguinare Sanguiscus? There we go. Get Soul Trap off. Oh, look at this dude run! I'll get you. There we are. Cool. Yeah. Oh shit! Oh my gosh! I got so distracted by this person here. <laughs> okay. Oh what? The mage light counts as weight? Holy shit. I guess that makes sense. Oh shit. Oh, I broke it now. Ah! Okay. What have you got? Dwarven boots, steel battle axe, eight gold. Can I take the hat? I could if I wanted. I'll pass though. So what the hell was this for? Just roasting people? Okay, cool. Oh, shit, I've accidentally equipped two lights. Yeah, they like spike you on both sides to keep you in place and then just roast you. Well, sort of roast you. Not directly, but a pretty close roast. Alright, over here. Good. Potatoes, too. Great. Hey, Kosnick. Welcome to the fucking special, baby. It's the roast of Fatima the Wolf Queen, everybody. <laughs> Fuck. I never understood the popularity of those fucking comedy special roasts and stuff. I thought they were so fucking stupid. I don't know. <laughs> this fucking insult comedy, it, it, it doesn't do anything for me. Are you... Oh, you're a dude, huh? There we go. Good. Alright. Which, thankfully, seems like a lot of people tend to agree, because I don't see all too many of those stupid-ass roasts anymore. Right? Alright. Over this way. Oh, listen to this dude growling. And sending baskets flying. I bet they put the basket right there just for the physics enjoyment, you know? Good. Maybe I should juice up our weapon here. Real quick. Oh, fuck. Oh, the fucking keyboard! Uh, okay. <laughs> there we are. Good. Alright. Lovely. Good. Still getting used to the keyboard placement. Great. Ebony war axe on that asshole. Okay, what else we got? Barrels filled with cabbages and apples and potatoes. No thanks. Only good for munching. Oh shit, look at this. It's got the blue oblivion-esque hue to the dungeon wall. Okay. <laughs> yes, we can have oblivion. If we go <laughs> which direction we're going in, we're gonna run into the other weird shit buried underneath solitude. <laughs> How far deep does this go, you know? Because it's like stood up, right? Solitude is like 
on top of that um, that weird like arch, that rock formation, right? Can't go that far deep underneath, huh? You know, like eventually <laughs> you're gonna see tubes and like like dungeon ruins and stuff poking out from underneath, right? Huh. Okay. Oh shit! Another vampire. Let's take care of business. Uh, frankly, I would have expected werewolves. There we go. Eat a butt. Cool. Take your dust as well. Wonderful. Anything cool in this area? It doesn't seem like it. I wonder if the other vampires Sabeel knew about all the vampires down here. Right? It seems like this dungeon is meant to have vampires inside of it. And it wasn't just happenstance. I hear something shuffling around. Oh no! Look at all these Draugr! They've peed so much they filled up part of the air. Go. Alright. Take some of that. Sorry, I don't know why I'm like... <laughs> Kaznak, I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm thinking about pee so much today. <laughs> That's the second time I think I've talked about like, oh, look at all this water. It's pee. <laughs> Why is it? What the fuck's going on? <laughs> Why now? Um, all of a sudden. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Sorry, Kalsnack. I just can't stop thinking about piss. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh. Oh, I pissed my parents! <laughs> it was frightening. Alright. Let's get, um... We took it pretty well, though. We did take it incredibly well. I think I'm still in the mindset of that sort of thing potentially one-shotting us. And maybe it still can? Like, maybe it does a variety of damage amounts, depending on, like, how it hits you? I don't know. Cabbages here. What else we got? Apples. Salt piles. I'll take them. Always useful. Alright. Damn, how many fucking dining sets they got down here? Fucking Potemus furniture liquidators down here. Alright. Oh, look at this. Oh, how can you even see? Oh, shit. <laughs> the vampires couldn't go past this area during the day. <laughs> but it got a couple of them. <laughs> okay. There we are. Ancient Nord Mace. Good. Alright. Good stuff. Potion of destruction. Just gonna drink that right now. Just for fun. Alright, how about this Draugr? What have you got? Nothing good. Just a... <laughs> a grindstone here for whatever reason. Okay. A booby-trapped treasure chest? Look. All these little, like, crab pincers come out and, like, grab your nipple whenever you mess up the trap. Okay. Go. Let's see what have we got inside. Silver emerald necklace or a calcum ingot. 38 quatlus and a potion of healing. All decent stuff. Okay. Man, it is so bright right here. Where even is that? Where the hell are we in relation to the rest of the fucking world? Yeah, of course the map doesn't update like that. Alright. Oh, and then this goes a bit deeper. Okay. Well, holy shit, you know what? Maybe this is the perfect place to call it for now. When next we come back, we're going to head deeper into... Secret Solitude. The, the Solitude Undercroft of the Temple of Divines. How much weird shit can they fit under Solitude? 
It's amazing what they can do under this place. <laughs> yeah, when next we come back, we'll uh, we'll poke around, we'll fuck around with Patema, we'll see what she has to say about how stupid we are in accidentally freeing her from her, like, hundreds, thousands of years slumber and all that shit. <laughs> and maybe we'll finally get Koznak his special pants, huh? Until next time, please take care of each other.